Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tips, I want to give you two tips on how you can really speed up the process for getting transplants, tomatoes and peppers ready for outside. You don't necessarily need six, eight, ten weeks for tomatoes or eight, ten, twelve weeks for peppers. You can do it that way if you want to. For tomato plants, if you give them a larger starting base, this is a four pack, I sell these at my seed shop, but something maybe the size of a yogurt container, if you start your plants in that, in four weeks they're going to look like this. How did, you know, how did I get to that point? So today's uh, February 23rd, these are started on January 26th, under grow lights, temperature here is about 65, 70 degrees, perfect for tomatoes. If you give them more growing space, the root systems develop more quickly, the greenery grows more quickly. These are really ready at this size to go outside. There's nothing wrong with these transplants. So in four or five weeks, you can start your tomato seeds, have them ready to be transplants out in your garden. Now, at about two weeks from putting the seed down, a very weak water-soluble fertilizer, anyone you want to use, feed the plants, that helps too. But these are perfectly uh, good size to go outside into your garden. I'll talk about soil temperature in a second. Peppers are a little bit different. It's not so much the amount of soil. These are in four packs. These are started on uh, January 26 too. This is all about warmth. If you use a heat mat that brings the temperature up to 80, 85 degrees, your pepper seeds are going to germinate more quickly and they're going to get the size more quickly. Now, at four weeks, these aren't quite ready to go outside, but these were started on January 9th. Same process. Notice that they're in smaller cells. 17 more days, these peppers are perfectly mature enough to go outside into your garden. So that's about six or seven weeks. The trick for peppers, the heat mat does speed up germination. For tomatoes, more starting mix, larger cells so that they grow a little bit more quickly. And then just feed these very lightly two weeks from dropping the seed down. You're feeding them a little bit sooner, but that's okay. Now, the timing wise is you want these to go into your garden soil when your garden soil is about 50 degrees. I've talked about that before. The way you figure that out is you gotta look at some old weather maps, see when the night temperatures are in the upper 40s and 50s, the day temperatures are in the 60s and 70s, you're getting some warm rain over a two week period and these plants would be ready to go out into your garden soil. So you would count back four or five weeks from that time for tomatoes, get great transplants like that. Six or seven weeks for peppers, get beautiful transplants like that. You don't need to hold them inside for as long as you think. You don't need to pot them up. They can go right out into the garden when they're used to the sun and acclimated to the outdoors. That will free you up a lot of space. You'll have to spend less money. You can grow different plants, you know, have a better experience. But don't think you have to hold these inside for eight weeks, 10 weeks or so, unless you want to. Thanks for watching. Hope this gives you some confidence, confidence to try and start tomatoes and peppers indoors. And again, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.